Hey, what's going on? It's Shield here, and we are continuing Katan with Shoujo. I'm just apologizing in advance. This is a shorter episode. Um, I kind of, I have a lot of shit I have to take care of. You know, nothing bad. Just, um, I'm a little busy, um, these couple of days, you know. So that's why things may seem a little incongruent, and that's why we're always starting new every single time. Because, hey, I'm a busy guy. I got things to do. There are dogs to feed, dogs to walk, dogs to talk, dogs to play with, and other things like family, friends, college, kicking my ass. Oh, fuck, I have to write my paper. Oh, fuck me, fuck me, I have to write that. It's due at 12 o'clock midnight tonight, I gotta turn in. Fuck me. All right, let's do this. <gasps> oh, God. So this is when we were confronting them, and they were like, ah, blah, 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 and everyone was all making fun of us, because like, everyone's too loud. And, you know, anyway, I like Misha. She seems pretty chill. Although, seriously, these people, they wear so tight shirts, it's like you could just see through them. I digress. Too loud, I could see heads turning into looking in our direction. Not so loud. People people are going to look at us and think I'm crazy. Maybe I am crazy. <laughs> you can't be loud. Oh, that's a horrible joke. Human beings evolve with each new generation. The ideals and beliefs behind the festival will inevitably change with time. Oh my god. It's fucking big words. Dot dot dot. <clears throat> now it's about delicious fried food and amusing little games that you play to win prizes. Ha 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 ha. The teacher clears his throat very loudly, batting his long wooden pointer against his other palm like a baton. I wouldn't necessarily a baton, I was going to say more or less, you know, uh, this is really loud. Is it, maybe it's just me. Okay, sorry. He shoots a pointed gaze at us. Finally noticing where we are, Misha stifles a yelp and quiets down. Oh, puppy dog face. She soon doesn't seem embarrassed at all, though brushing it off without a care. Heh. <laughs> I'm fucking deaf and blind and dumb. DVD. We're in the middle of class and... Oh, we're in the middle of class. We start working. That's right, Sachan. What? That's right. Hachan, are you asking because you're interested in joining a club? No. No, not this shit again. I don't want to join a student council. <laughs> not again. It could have been my eyes playing tricks on me, but I think I saw a suspicious glance. Ooh. Exchange between them. Mitch's tone has also changed, although it does every other word anyway. Seems like they got ulterior motives going on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah maybe. Just don't shoot me. Missions and Zoom look at each other again, now with devious grins across their face, growing like clockwork. About to ask what they have in mind when something dark flutters in my peripheral vision, catching my attention. Out of my corner eye, I see a girl with long, dark hair get up from her desk and slip silently towards the door. It doesn't seem like she was working in a group. No one seems to notice her but me. <gasps> Hanako! I glance at the teacher, who's also looking at the dark-haired girl go, Why doesn't he say anything? Because she's broken and she needs amendment help, and we help her! It just fucking took 50 parts. Hitchan, is something wrong? Do I look as uneasy as I feel? Or is Misha just looking at me and looking after the girl who I left, looking at her, then looking back at me, and the girl was looking at her? My god, look exception. <gasps> no, no nothing, I just saw a crazy girl who may have been burned running from the door, as if a fire was breaking out. So I'm fine, I'm cool, everything's, everything's good. Dot dot dot, with their mouth wide open. Okay, well we were like asking, you don't have any plans for lunch today, do you? I thought I would go to the library and pick up some books. Not really. <laughs> you always have that like in your head, what you want to say is just there, and then you say something else like, yeah, I'm, I'm totally going to be getting good grades, and then in your head you're just thinking, I'm fucking failing everything. So, <laughs> I relate, Hasao, I relate. Do you want to have lunch together then? Didn't we have lunch last time? Sure. Can't you let me pick us out? I want to pick some of these basic decisions. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah! <laughs> okay, Hachan, perfect. <laughs> oh, God. The rest of the class passes uneventfully. The girl with the long hair never came back. Before I have time to put any more thought into where she could have gone, the teacher informs us that it's time to stop working. She even looks a little more annoyed that we only got barely matched to finish all our work on time. I'm just glad we finished it at all. It's not a contest or anything. Dot dot dot. Motherfucker. Yes it is, Hachan! What the fuck? ESP! They're fucking reading my mind! Seriously, there's something up with this chick. Imp <laughs> Impossible! No fucking way you read my mind. Really? Really. I've done this before, but it's kind of funny how Misha is always moving her hands and signing not only everything she says, but now else is saying it at any given time. Obviously, it must be so soon, uh, so soon can understand it. Her eyes dart back and forth between Misha's hands and me. I don't know who I'm supposed to be looking at. I'm talking to Misha, but that might be wrong. Maybe I should face Shizun. I'm just looking in the direction of the person who my voice I'm hearing, but really, Shizun can't hear me. But it'd be disrespectful to talk through only Misha. Then again, is the way she's doing? No, she's looking at me. This is all very confusing. It'll take some time to get used to. I don't know, like, like the way I'm looking at it now, I guess just makes sense because they're both in my frame, but if I don't know who to look at, I think I would kind of stare at Shizun while Misha's talking. And then when I have to tell Shizun something, I'd stare at Misha while I talk to Misha, and then look after I'm done talking, look to Shizun for the reaction. You know, that kind of psycho bullshit. 
it's not a contest because contests are competitions over a prize. You know, kind of even like a uh, like a sweepstakes. No, sweepstakes would be you don't have to do anything. So yeah, it's not a contest. If there's no prize in the line, it's not really a contest. And I am a man of science, so I know these things. Shizune's eyes flash dangerously with a competitive glare. She stares at me as if surprised that I'm challenging her e -peen. I think maybe this is a contest to her. I've never noticed how dark and blue her eyes are. It's truly an alluring gaze. So, ha! Hey, 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 fucking knock yourself out of it. Alright? You start to, to spizz out a little bit and you almost panic. You almost had sex with her immediately and that would have been bad. It would have killed the friendship. Although there really is no friendship right now. There's merely hot animal sex. Or there couldn't really be a hot animal sex because we're not animals. Well, we are mammals, but we're not animals per se. And seriously, she's deaf and blind and, and mute and all the things above. Hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. Perfect. I don't have to hear with any of you. Deal with any of you. Not that. Are you sure, Hachan? Very sure. Not a contest. No idea why the hell you're rushing. We get the work done. We get the A. We get out. It's it's get in, get it done, get out. In, done, out. In, done, out. In that fucking order. Get the A. It's all that fucking matters. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> you're wrong, Hachan, because... Well, I don't want to be the slowest one in class. Therefore, what's in the line is my confidence in my abilities, and the prize is the satisfaction of proving them. She's like one of those girls who are just like the president of the class, and like the, the mama's girl, and the one that like everyone fucking hates. I'm telling you. <laughs> my drills are destroying your eardrums! <laughs> she soon pushes her glasses up the bridge of her nose in a very matter of fact way. No. I'd argue more, but the bell rings, and she quickly gets up and picks up her bag, looking at me expectantly. I'd almost forgotten that I was supposed to have lunch with them. Oh, shit. Dot, dot, dot. Where do you want to eat? Cafeteria. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it's so plain. Okay, let's go. Okay, so you, you insult my, my opinion and my my picking of food places, and yet you you acknowledge it and say, let's go? I think you need some help, Misha. Some mental help, seriously. Or maybe you just need to close it up. Maybe a cork. <laughs> seriously, that's just, that just looks like death. Plain? Well, I guess there's no really nowhere else to eat. At my old school, I like to eat outside, in the back of the building. It was a good spot, but I didn't find it until the near end of my freshman year. We had that. I think I may have told you guys a story. Maybe not. In my freshman year, or even just in general in high school, we'd have like a spot next to the back of the building. It was the outside, like kind of, not really a picnic area, but it had like some desks and shit. It was so nice to eat outside. And you kind of felt like a rebel. Because I don't know about you, but like when you were in like ninth or 10th grade, you still felt like controlled by the system, man. The government and the school keeping you down, man. And you want the rebel. So you like ate outside and like there was no one watching you. And like at any given moment, you could just like walk away. And that like was always in the back of your head. I could just, I could just fucking leave. No one's gonna say anything. I don't have to be here. I could just fucking leave. And the coolest shit was when you just, when sometimes you did just walk away. Like, all right, I don't feel like being anymore. So you just played a little bit of hooky. Don't do that, kids. That's bad. I did it a couple times, but it's bad. So sometimes, yeah, you would just walk away and play hooky. Other times, you know, when you were in your schedule worked out. I remember my senior year. I, I was done at like twelve o'clock. I went from like eight to twelve, and I got the, you know, I didn't have to go until three o'clock. So I got three hours extra. I would eat lunch, or fuck it, I wouldn't even eat lunch sometimes. I just, I just walk home. And like you, people always ask you, where are you going, sir? Excuse me, where are you going? I'm like, I'm done for the day. Let me see your schedule. Okay. Huh. Carry on. And fucking bitches, man. They can never let you be right in school. It's one thing I learned with people. People with power, they never let you be right. Ever. So you see someone with power, kick them in the goddamn shin and, and run. Because they'll never let you be right. Oh, man. Fucking cafeteria bullshit. I hate these chairs. We had these fucking chairs. I hate these chairs. So the mission pulled me towards the cafeteria, which is surprisingly not packed. Maybe some students favor eating in the classroom or outdoors. I saw some of my classmates at box lunches. Maybe that one retarded kid. I take it back. He's not retarded. The one specially educated retarded kid who was in the library eating fucking boogers. That kid was disgusting. I didn't see him today. Very happy. After we finish eating, Misha picks up where we left off earlier. So, Hachan, you want to know about the clubs and stuff, right? Right? Oh. <laughs> right, Hachan. Okay, I guess it makes sense to ask first. Exchanging a little nods of confirmation, they turn to face me again, and Misha straightens her posture as if she's about to deliver a speech. Hachan, do you have anything you're really interested in? Girls. Booze. Alcohol. More booze. Dancing, and sometimes cricket. I used to play soccer, but I'm not really into that. I don't follow the teams or players or anything like that. Why do I have a feeling this is extremely loud and my audio option is fucked up? Please don't be fucked up. No, it's not. Okay, it just seems really loud. I I, I used to play soccer, but I don't I don't follow it. Please don't hurt me. As a lady, I just I just read a lot. Really, that's all I do. Hmm. There's a book club, right, Sachan? Right, but it seems like they have all the members they can possibly have right now. Sorry, Hachan, it's a really popular club, so you tell me there's a club and then I can't join it? Motherfucker. 
Ah, okay, but but more to the point, Chan, does this mean that you don't have anything already in mind? I smell ulterior motives and they smell shitty. Not really. Dot dot dot. Good! Great! That's great, Chan! Really? Ha ha ha! Oh god, I can't take it anymore. Why is it so great? I'm gonna be left alone and no one's gonna love me? No reason. Well, Hachan, other than clubs and the upcoming festival, there is this one other thing. Student Council! Mother of God, just blow my fucking brains out now. <laughs>